Hey everybody, it's Brian and Rachel Goulet here of the Goulet Pen Company and InkNouveau.com. We're here doing our Right Time at 9 broadcast for the 89th time. Didn't know that, did you? No. We've done 89 Sorry, of these things. Sorry, I was reading the guys in the chat saying it's skipping. Now it's okay. 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 It was skipping, now it's okay. We are also wireless instead of plugged in. We are. The reason we are wireless is because we are broadcasting from a different location than normal. Um, long story short, but not that short, I, um, we have recessed lighting in our living room. And in an effort to be more eco-friendly, we and wanted replace to... replace the dying bulbs. Yeah, we wanted to replace these hot halogen bulbs with LED bulbs, not realizing that the electronic control dimmer switches that these recessed lights are on operate not ideally with LEDs instead of halogens. So I replaced all the bulbs yesterday only to find out that the dimmers didn't work. So I thought, no problem, I'll just get new dimmers that are made not for LEDs. That just didn't work. When you turn it on, it was like a Christmas light parade. All the lights were flickering. It looked like, and they were all flickering at different times, like 10 different lights. It was psychedelic and really creepy. Yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> so. You know, basically what we ended up doing, we, I, I went and I got new dimmers, I replaced them, and they didn't work at all. Come to find out I got the wrong kind and blah, blah, blah. I went to put the other ones back and they still didn't work and we ran out of time. So we now have, we have no lights, no lights in, our living room. <laughs> in our living room, which does not work so well for broadcasting. So we moved to our dining room. Um, Very interesting which is, beige. Which is uh, not ideal lighting conditions. We do have, however the best quality video broadcast that we've ever done, but we're having to stream it over Wi-Fi instead of plug in directly. So I'm hoping the, Some folks the video are is okay. Skipping, but... Well, I don't know. Uh, there's skipping anyway, so it could mm -hmm. be it could be due to you know internet connections on other people's ends. Because we're we're streaming That's up. That's true. You can try we're changing the up. quality to lower medium, depending yeah. on your connection. I think that's probably more likely what's happening. Because we're, we're in a higher quality. We're pushing up a really high quality video mm. now. So if you're trying to stream it in really high quality and your internet connection is not having it, you're going to get skipping. Yeah, there is some funny stuff going on. It's like a shadow from the chandelier or something. Yeah, I don't know it's, what's it's the on. lighting it's from up creepy. there. Yeah, because you can see it's like a like, big spider or something. There you go. You can see. Okay. Anyway, anyway. Uh, yeah, so lighting conditions are not ideal, but we've got a new program that we've been playing around with to try to do the better broadcast. Um, we broke out the recording and the broadcasting. I remember last time we did it two weeks ago, we had to um, do it all simultaneously. record simultaneously with the broadcast, and that kind of cuts our flow a little bit, and it eliminated bonus time at the end, which we had something that we had kind of gotten used to. Bonus time's fun. I like bonus time. <laughs> That's when you really get my rants. Exactly. Because <laughs> I'm off <laughs> the Because it's not recorded. <laughs> um, so now we've got a separate recorded portion, which the recorded portion we're actually being in even higher quality video than what you're seeing in the stream. So really good stuff. So I need to like start wearing makeup or something, huh? Well, we are we are broadcasting now in 720p. So we are in H ah, HD. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Until our lights are better, you probably won't even notice. But anyway, so so we've got some interesting things going on. But um, we, we're going to be testing out some stuff. I've got some cool little whiz-bang things that even Rachel hasn't seen yet that we can I do with this program. I see them up. Yes, yes. Hey, I, got I some, see what's coming. Got some, got some things going on. So... Anyway, we got a lot of good stuff to talk about. Well, um, last week we were off. Um, it was the day before Thanksgiving. We were actually planning on doing it, even we though, you know, it was up until, Thanksgiving. Up until, like, Tuesday night we were planning on planning Up until on Tuesday it. night when our son got sick. Um, yeah, that was not fun. He was a trooper. He got over it pretty well. Uh, we did a lot of laundry, uh, needless yeah. to say. <laughs> And then, uh, so we were work. you know, we didn't get a lot of sleep and had all that to deal with. So, you know, it, it worked out for the best we canceled. Uh, went up to my family's for Thanksgiving, had a great Thanksgiving, and then Thanksgiving night, you got sick. I got whatever he had, except worse. And then um, me and my mom got it like Saturday two, day, night. two days later, yeah. Oh, it was so bad. Yeah, pretty much got passed around the family. I'm still getting over it, so. And we actually we <laughs> actually ended up not being able to come back in town as quickly as we wanted. We're we supposed had to, to come stay. back Saturday. We didn't come back till Monday because I couldn't handle 
being on the road. Yeah, exactly. Especially in like all the Thanksgiving traffic would have been stopped. Oh yeah, Thanksgiving traffic around DC is just not fun. So we um, ended up having to have an extended weekend, uh, all being sick. <laughs> oh, I meant to put a link to uh, my sister's blog in the newsletter. Oh yeah, that um, was really good. I maybe we'll put this in the recording tomorrow and I can put a link in the chat too. My sister yeah. took some great family pictures. We can of overlay us. a link in here. We can. we can. Show us, Brian. I show us how to do it. I think I remember how to do it. I put it out on Facebook and, and Twitter, but uh my sister took some family pictures of us which we really haven't had in a long time. So if you wanna see our kids and, you know, see us, you know I don't know. There's some good pictures. My sister's a great photographer. So Brian is trying to figure out how to add a link. I am, and I'm not sure I remember how to do it. Uh, Sam showed me today, and... Uh, yeah, I don't remember how to do it. Oh, I'll put it in the chat. That's one of those extra whiz-bang things I need to learn how to do. But anyway, um, yeah, so Rachel will put that up. We'll put a link uh, after the fact. But, um, you know, Rebecca is a phenomenal photographer, and she took some good family pictures of us. Pretty much she's the only one that takes family pictures of us because... I'm the one with the camera most of the time. So there's lots of good pictures of Rachel and the kids. <laughs> but I'm not in a lot of them. So um, it's really nice to have somebody else take our pictures so that we can be in them as a family. Uh, but anyway, so we are, um, you know, back and not sick anymore. Well, so. I'm, I'm still getting over it. Well, and I feel like I might be coming down with something else now. So Great. Ellie hasn't gotten it, so that's good. <sighs> Thank goodness, yeah. Our baby's been spared. All right, we've talked enough about being sick. Let's move on to yeah, let's stuff. talk about fun stuff now. All right, so what do we got? Well, it's been crazy. It, it's really holidays. been insane. So first it's of really all, I want to say if we if you've ordered with us and we haven't gotten it out, I'm really sorry. We're a, we're a day or so behind where we normally would be. Um, I'm hoping hoping we'll catch up by Friday. Um, our staff has just been giving it heck, working ten hour days and. Um, you know, trying to get all the orders out. Um, we, we gave everyone off Thanksgiving and day after, so we had a four-day weekend. So that compiled with the whole Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Ink Sample Palooza, everything we had going on, made for just a perfect storm for coming back on Monday. So we're, we're still catching up. Um, so I want to apologize to anyone who, if we haven't shipped out your order as fast as you normally expect us to, or if you're a first-time customer, you know, just know this is not the norm. This is just yeah. crazy holidays, and we're doing and, our best. And, and and when we say we're not shipping as fast as usual, you're usually we're able to get things out same or next within day. about 24 hours after you place your order. Yeah, we're running... That's kind of our standard. I think we're about... It's about two days right now. Yeah. So now if you place so an order, you'll expect to ship in about two days. It's not like it's going to be a week or two. I mean, we have really, really high standards for the way that we ship. And our crew is working absolutely They're hard as hard awesome. as they can. And, and they really, really are doing phenomenal. Staying late, coming in early, that kind of thing. So, yeah. you know, they're really working hard trying to get caught up. But, you know, we're, we're you know. We're, we're doing our best. We're at capacity. Yeah. Don't let that deter you if you want to support us. Absolutely. No, we're, we're going to catch up. I just want to let anyone know who's wondering, like, why has my order shipped? You know, we're working on it. Um, excuse me. If it is urgent, um, you know, if it, just let us know and we'll bump it up. Um, but, I mean, we should be caught up at the end of the week yeah. at the rate we're going. Yeah. And Ink Drop will go out on time. Um, Ink Drop will go out because the first is a Saturday. It'll go out on Monday the 3rd. Yeah. So... So that'll be fun. Someone asked what the theme was. The theme has to do with Christmas. Yes. What do we call it? Are we going to announce it? Christmas time is here. Christmas time is here. Yes. Last year we did a Christmas themed ink drop in November. Yeah, cause we because thought, we thought, well, if to... people have enough time, then they can buy the bottles for their Christmas cards. And it's like, eh, who's thinking about Christmas at the beginning of November? Like, people are thinking about Christmas now. Right. So have fun with, with Christmas colors. Yeah. So, you know. It, it, and if you don't celebrate Christmas... I'm sorry. It's, well, it's, it's still it's good reds and greens. <laughs> it, yeah, it, reds and greens. It's Christmas is something we celebrate as as a uh, a, a couple, as a family, and as a, a company. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's certainly not try to offend anyone, but you know, it's Christmas colors. Right. So, yeah. Yep, that'll be fun. That's coming. Lots of good ones. I'm excited about. I'm excited about some of these colors for sure. There's um, one scented one in this one, I think. Just one. People always ask about that. And we're actually not planning on doing any scented for a while. Um, some people have had some sensitive or allergy issues or things mm. like that. So just letting anyone know, the next we have the next six months planned out, and I don't think we have any scented in there. So There you go. Now, if you really want scented, well, well, we have them available <laughs> separately. <laughs> the Adventist has plenty of them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for everyone with the skipping, you know, like Sam, Sam, our IT guys in the chat here, he says it's probably because of our Wi-Fi instead of our being able to plug directly in ethernet. So I'm sorry. It's just for this broadcast until we get lights back in our living room. That's totally my fault. I'm really sorry, everybody. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Hanna Kwanzaa. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, so um, let's get to the we fun had stuff. a lot of new stuff come in. Yeah. Um, some of it expected, <laughs> some of it unexpected, some of it Some is... of it we've been waiting for for a really long I time. Know. And it just all happens to be coming Beautiful. right at And other like, stuff has been like hot time. and then went out of stock and we're like waiting to get restocked. Yeah. So we'll give you all the latest. Yes. So first, first should we just dive right in with ba- the long with the best? This right here. Lummy. Lots of you. Lots of you are familiar with this. This is a Lamy box, and inside it is a pen, a pen that has long been awaited. Now, I don't know how well we're going to be able to showcase this thing, especially because this is one that changes colors quite drastically depending on your lighting. But uh, anyway, the Royal Red Lamy Studio is finally, finally here. It has been a very long wait. That actually doesn't look too bad in the, in the video there. Um, the Royal Red Lamy Studio is is a, a very interesting pen. It, depending on the lighting, it can look, you know, a bright like ruby red, or it can look a coppery kind of burnt orange. It really kind of bounces back and forth. And um, honestly, I'll just put it out there, and this is not trying to be a rant. The pictures on Lamy USA are way too red. Well, yeah, it depends. If you have like really strong like, I, I daylight, don't... like depending on the on the type of light you're using, it can look that red. Right. But under like regular fluorescent under normal... lights in our shop, it looks bright orange. Right. I mean, in Here person, it's looking. It's see, it just changed to like a red as you moved it from like underneath. It's still the light. not like. But it's really kind of leans heavy orange. It does. You know, and I said to Alex today, too, as like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some people, like, I'm not going to say wanted to return it, but were surprised by the color. We've done our best to We've represent best. it accurately on our website. And I think I will show you, what was ow? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> there it is, on a bed of potpourri. Yes. We took these pictures back in... July. No, I think it was June. I think it was early July. I think it was like July 3rd or something like that. That's when know. we posted about it. But we took the picture back in June. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so our <laughs> Lamy rep basically said, hey, I've got one of these pens. I'm driving through your part of town. It was like yeah, a sun- copper orange. It was like a Sunday afternoon. And and uh, they were like, you know, do you want to come in and just take pictures while I have this pen for a couple of hours in your area? And we were like, well, okay. So we packed up the kids and <laughs> went in on Sunday and took these pictures. And I'm really glad we did because it's been now like a five month wait to get these pens in. And we are really feeling good about the pictures that we took of them. Sazow. Like that? <laughs> yeah. We're really feeling good about the pictures we took of them because I feel like we did we did a pretty good job. And I yeah, threw it on some potpourri and had some some fun with it. You did. Um, you can't, I wish we had smell a vision. It does, that potpourri smells amazing. It's like apples. It's like the cinnamon apple potpourri. Oh, it's good. so good. It filled up the whole studio with this smell. Uh, anyway, so uh, yes, the um, the pen is here. It comes with a 14 karat gold nib, which Lamy's 14 karat nibs are awesome. They're very wet. They're wetter than the steel yeah, nibs. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. I love them. I, so love, I love wet nibs. If you, like Japan- <laughs> if you like Japanese nibs, really, really fine nibs, just forget this altogether because this pen is wet. And even the extra fine is very wet. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's um, you know. Keep that in mind if you're in ordering. Mind. And if uh, you... We have everything in the nib nook too. So um, take yes. a look at the nib nook and compare. That's yes. hard to say. Nib, nib nook. The nib nook. <laughs> yeah. Ready for another one? <gasps> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I have for the uh, picture-in-picture oh, ones. Okay. It, it takes a time to set up, and so the rest of them are going to be straight images. What well, anyway. flavor power aid am I drinking? I'm drinking strawberry, strawberry lemonade. lemonade. Yeah. I'm in the uh, Gatorade Powerade uh, post-sickness thing yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So that's the Royal Red Lamy Studio, which I know a lot of people have been waiting for, um, and I'm really excited that it's finally here, quite yeah. frankly, because it's been a long wait. We saw this pen and then had... Had to give it back and haven't seen it until it today. Just, I love, you know, color side. Just the finish is just so nice. It's like this anodized aluminum that's like. But it's it's it's, it's not smooth. No, but it's it, it is. not textured. It is smooth, but no, not like glassy like, smooth. It's like satin. Yeah. It feels yeah. like satin. 
It really, yeah, that's a that's a good way. To it's put not it. like gloss, like oh, I'm gonna get fingerprints on it. It's just like oh, I just want to like <laughs> caress it. I don't know. <laughs> oh goodness, it's it's beautiful. So we got a good good little batch in. It is a limited edition. So with Lamia limited editions, we never know when they're gonna stop making them. We don't know how many are made. Yes. All of a sudden, we just go to reorder, and they're like, oh, sorry, we're out. They yeah. stop making them. So, especially with this one, because normally something is not, you know, uh, announced so far in advance. You know, and we've had limited edition. And this has been out in Europe before. for a little bit. It's but taken a while to come. I think to the in US. Europe though, it's coming with a steel nib, it right? It is. So the fourteen carat nib is, this is unique to the US. This is special for the US. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Maybe that's part of the delay. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, um, if you're thinking about it, I'm not going to say, like, you need to get it tomorrow. But, like, if you're thinking six months from now, it might not be around. I don't know. It might be around two years from now. It really just depends how it goes. They may may decide, you know what, this is such a great color. Let's bring it to the standard line with a steel nib. Who knows? You never know. They could, yeah. And, I mean, Lamy's pretty flexible in terms of of listening to people and what they want and and making things available. But my warning is more just, like... If, if you really do want it, you know, think about it. And yeah, just think about it and plan for it in the next few months. Yeah. It's not like you got to get it this week or no, it might no, be no. gone or anything like that. Because it's not, you know. Oh, the price. Um, it is a list price of one ninety five. dollars um, Street price, our price, um, $156. Mm-hmm. 20% yeah. off. Not the cheapest pen out there. But it has a gold sure. nib. That's about standard price that's, for... <laughs> that's you know, half you're, what you're paying for is that nib. For most pens with a gold nib, you're looking around the 140 150 starting mark. Yeah. I can't I think, the think cheapest of pen any... I, The cheapest pen, new pen that I know of that we carry is like 140 Yeah, I can't like think of anything less than 140 With a gold nib. So what is the barrel material? It's it's like a lacquer, right? Uh, I think it's some kind of anodized, anodized or powder lacquer. coating or something. I don't know exactly it's what just, it is. Oh, it's just so nice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when was the Apple Green Safari originally released? Trying to decide if I should get a move on and buy one. It was Ooh, released yeah, in... Was... May, April or May, they do a new safari every um, every spring. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that one. I'm not gonna say dry up soon, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if if uh, stock started dwindling in the near future as they yeah. geared up for the new color. Which I don't know what it is. Don't ask me. We usually don't find out until like you know March or April. They don't always do a new safari though. Usually they alternate between a safari and an all star no, color. They've done a safari each of the just the last couple of years though. But they didn't. They didn't all star the same year too. I know. Well, they used to be like every year they would alternate to a safari all star, safari all star, and then lately it's been like just they've been kind of they've been kind of staggering them on top of each other a little bit, which is not such a bad thing. I like seeing all these cool colors coming out. I would love to see more. Absolutely. So especially anyway. all stars. They need another all star. Yep. Um, another pen that I've got pictures loaded up here, so we'll just go ahead and talk about it. Uh, the Pilot Metropolitan. Oh, this one has been... Is... <laughs> it's a brilliant pen, and we haven't been able to right get here. it. But good news. Um, I talked to the our Pilot the pilot USA, our distributor, and they just got... All of our orders have been back-ordered for the last couple weeks, so we've been, like, barely getting any in at all. They just got a new batch in from Japan. Um, they're fulfilling back order, so we should get ours maybe this week, um, maybe early next week. So, uh... It's coming. I'm really sorry. We ordered a ton. <laughs> it's a great pen. This is like, if I had to suggest one gift for everyone for Christmas, like what to get someone, oh, someone's new to fountain pens, like what should I get them? Stocking stuffer, whatever. This is it. Yeah. And and I've been writing with this pen myself for a while and uh, been a big fan of it. Honestly, it's like we we get really excited when there's starter pens that come out that you know, can get new people into fountain pens without having to spend an arm and a leg. Um, and, you know, the Noodler's pens have been pretty good for that, but that's a flex pen, and that's one that is, you know, takes a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to fountain pens. Um, that's a, that's kind of like diving in the deep end a little bit. Um, you know, and there's other ones like the Platinum Preppy is a great starter pen. Mm-hmm. Um, the Lamy Safari is also like another go-to good starter pen but even that one is you know pushing thirty dollars when you get it with a converter so it's um to have something like this that's a good quality pen writes well for 15 bucks is pretty exciting so we're 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 eager to get these things back in stock because i don't think 
I don't think we could have enough of them at this point, especially being around Christmas time and wanting stocking stuffers and people gifting things to themselves, which we know happens quite a bit in yeah. the fountain pen world. Someone said the Metropolitan is unbelievable. I mean, it, I, it, it blows my mind that, you know, more people aren't carrying it. It's just, it's a, it's a brilliant pen. Yeah, we heard that, you know... I hate no, to overhype something, but it's it's just a great pen. Well, The uh, only thing that can make it better... Two things can make it better. If it was in a fine nib. Fine nib and... Uh, other colors yes, would be cool. which... Rumor, word on the we're, street. We're, we'll see some in the spring. Yeah. We're trying to get them to bring all that in. Um, yeah. That, yeah. We'll see. We don't really have... We don't have a lot any, of fall. Any final decision making. I am pushing them hard to bring the fine and I've heard that their colors coming in the spring. Yeah. But I don't know when or what. I really don't. <laughs> yeah, me neither. That's just what I've heard. But hopefully they'll get the message from being out of selling out of these things immediately and say, Oh wow, maybe we should offer more of these. That but they are good. swappable with other pilot pens, so you can they put are. your italic nib from a plumix on there. You can yes. switch your prayer nib and you can get that super fine prayera. So yes. there is hope. Yeah, and I showed that I did a pilot metropolitan video, mm -hmm. and I showed swapping it with the the prayer or the uh, and plumage. the gold isn't like you know, say the silver has grown on you. The silver is nice. The gold isn't like bling and gold. It's more like a muted champagne. Yeah, champagne. That's a good word for it. It's it, it reminds word. me of the uh, the plaisir, the gold plaisir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pilots making more. They're on the way. Um, like I said, they could show up tomorrow. It could be Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. Yeah. We don't have pilot nibs separately. They don't sell them to us separately. Um, not for not for the steel nib, not for these pens. Yeah, the vanishing points do have nibs separately. Vanishing points. We can also order like Namiki Falcon or Metal Falcon. Um, nib, I think even custom. Units. I think even yeah. custom seventy four nib units, but they're like at least half the cost of the pen because it's a gold expensive. nib. Yeah. yeah. So. But that is an option if you ever wanted to replace that or anything. Yep. It's an option. What's next? Um, yeah, next I've got uh, Twisby Minis. Twisby Minis. Go ahead and talk about those. The Twisby Minis. Um, we just got restocked yesterday. Yep, yep. We initially only got in the clear and the black, but the, um, you know, the. The classic. Yeah, the classic. We just got the one. classic in yesterday. Yeah, that was one. <laughs> I I made a classic in my video by basically hacking apart it's a, a clear pen. and a black because that's kind of you know what it looks like um you know here's the classic go ahead and throw it up on the video now um but the the you know it's basically just a clear body on the black pen but i don't know something about it just is really kind of well classy i like i like the i like the classic i really do um, I also like the clear, and the black is nice too. The black is completely opaque, though. It is not a smoke demonstrator or anything like that. It's completely black. So that's the only drawback of the black, is you don't get to see the ink capacity. Um, but, you know. The mini is $50, same as the 540. Mm -hmm. Shall we talk about the 540? We should talk we about the 540. We get so many questions about the 540. Yeah. So. The deal is the 540 has been discontinued. It is, it is no longer in production. And what we we, we just not... got our last shipment in Tuesday. So what no. we have on our site is all we have. We are out of nib units. We are out of clear. All we have are colored 540s left. Mm -hmm. So once they are gone, they are gone. Um, they are being replaced by the 580, which is the new model. You had the 530, the 540, now the 580. I guess they're skipping up a couple numbers. Why not? Um, that should be out after the new year. When exactly? I don't know. Um, I know there's supposed to be a clear one, and they're working on colors. Uh, they they may change the color. So like, they, there may not be a blue, there may not be an orange or a smoke. There may be, or they may change it. So, um, I don't know. I don't even know if the price is going to be the same. I we don't even don't really know, know, know what it's going to look like either because they've posted a couple pictures on their Facebook page. They've posted some prototypes. But they've been very vague. All I know is it's supposed to fix the cracking issues that have been happening with the 540, which, by the way, if you have one and it happens to you, contact Twisby directly for a replacement. We have no replacement parts, um, especially now. Mm -hmm. um, they handle everything under warranty. So, yep. But if you want a 540, if you, if you have had your eye on it for a long time, um, I would jump on it because we have very limited stock and once they're gone, they're completely gone. Mm -hmm. um, and the 580 may come out and you'll be like, oh, I don't like these colors, I don't like this design, and then, you know, too late, it's all gone. 
Yep. Uh, the 580 is not metal. The metal is the 850. I know. A little not confusing. confusing at all. So the 850 is one that's still in development, still in prototype phase. I wouldn't expect to see it before next summer at the earliest. And I'm just, again, just throwing out a date. Um, I, I wouldn't expect to see it sooner than that. That's all I'm saying. Um, so the 580 is the new 540, and the 850 is the metal. They're also working on an eco pen, uh, eco not eco friendly, which I don't. I think the name's a little confusing. It's mm-hmm. supposed to be economical pen, right? So they're kind of abbreviating the eco, which again I think of like eco friendly like and like biodegradable. Yeah, pen except kinda? it's not. Right. It's supposed to be a budget, um, like a twenty-five to thirty dollar piston fill pen. Yeah. Which puts it more in the price range of like, well, even then it's above Ahabs and stuff, but. I don't know. It still. could be interesting. Um, but again, it's still in prototype. We won't know the final price till it comes that out. That one probably won't specs. be out for a while. Well, and they might not be able to make it for that price. It won't know till it comes out. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, mini nib units. We will have those next week. So we didn't know they were in um, Twisby. I saw it on their site. So I was like, hey, can we get some too? So they're on the way. Yeah. Um, yeah. So any other questions on Twisby? Twisby? <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of questions about Twisby. And... Oh, your Twisby replacement barrel was threaded in the plastic instead of in the metal threads. Is that standard for 540 replacement barrels, or is that the new 580 barrel? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with the replacements, because, again, you know, we our stock ran out a long time ago. The clears, we haven't been restocked in a long time, so they may have started making some changes and then decided to, like, you know what, let's just turn this into a new pen. I don't know. Any thoughts on the 580 price point? I would not expect it to be less than the 540, put it that way. No. So I would, it would be at least $50. I would be, I would be surprised if it were less. Me too. I would expect in the 50 to $70 price range, if it's comparable to the 540. Yeah, probably. 50 to 70, somewhere in there. And then we don't know if the 530 and 540 nib units will be compatible with it. No, I've asked them that. I haven't gotten an answer. Um, cause, and I asked, you know, will stubs be available? And I, I don't have an answer for that either. I don't know if it's the same nib. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know a lot. <laughs> yeah. So that's all, all we know. Expected date for the 580 will be sometime in 2013. And that is all I know. That's about it, yeah. Go to their Facebook page, and that's about as much as I know. <laughs> so, yeah, it, exactly. Good luck figuring out anything until it's actually here. You know, clear fi- VAC 700s are still on the way. I've been told December, but again, we'll, you know, you'll know when it's here. We'll let you know. As soon as we get our shipping confirmation from Twisby, you know, it's about a week. Mm-hmm. So you'll have a week's heads up. Yep. All that's, right. <laughs> and we're pretty much depleted of Twisby knowledge now. Um, seen a couple of people in the chat asking about the Edison Nibo Encore LE. Um, it's worth talking about. There's two and a few, two days and a few hours left in the open buy period. Um, this pen is one that we developed with Brian Gray of the Edison Pen Company. Um, we've talked about it in the last couple of broadcasts, so we won't uh, get into it too much, but we will just go ahead and touch on it. Just well, there's because, only two days left, yeah, so this is the last chance to touch on it. Yeah, and this is a limited limited time period uh, purchase, so unlike previous limited editions that we've done, um, which have been, you know, we make a set number of pens, and then whenever they sell, they sell. This one, we're doing it differently by... Uh, kind of by Brian Gray's request Mm -hmm. that we do an open buy period. We had like a two and a half week period. And um, once that buy period is over, that's it. We number the pens. We, you know, Brian makes them, we ship them out and it's done and that's it. And they're, they're no longer available. So someone's asking how many pens are ordered so far. Can we, I guess, I mean, people are going to find out. Yeah, it's going to be public information. We are uh, at last count, like 58 or so. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'm very, very pleased with we're this. very pleased. We were optimistic to think like 40, 40, or, to, 50. 40 to 50. So with that's two days we left, for. I think that's that's phenomenal. Yeah. The response yeah. has been great. It's a beautiful pen. It really I, is. I wonder I mean, if I should uh, I should have one. I should. <laughs> I'll, I'll snag you one. You can talk to Brian, yeah. He'll, he'll, Maybe we'll get like an artist proof or something. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, when I took these pictures, this was actually Brian Gray's personal a, pen. It is not a gold nib. It's a, a two-tone steel nib. 
Um, the pen is 185. I don't know if we've talked about that. Mm -hmm. um, 185 dollars. It's a um, cartridge converter pen, but it is also convertible to an eyedropper if you'd like to have that huge ink capacity. Um, there are some details on it. This is the only Encore that is going to have uh, gold trim instead of the rhodium like all the other ones have. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it's got including a, the medallion. Yes, including the medallion, and it's got a gold filling in the engraving that'll be numbered uh, for each pen. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of so it'll say like little... one out of sixty, five out of sixty, whatever the case is. Yeah, exactly. So um, it's it's a gorgeous pen. It's it's one of those that looks really different under different types of light as well. Um, it's in. In a photo booth like this, when we were taking these pictures, the thing almost glows, you know, like uh, uh, like a piece of amber. But uh, in real life, it looks a little bit darker. Um, I did do a video on this one. You can look it up on uh, the Ink Nouveau on my YouTube channel. Uh, so you can see kind of more what it looks like um, in realistic lighting conditions, I guess you can say that. Um, um, we try to shoot things as accurately as we can when we do pictures, but uh, sometimes it's, it's really tough. Uh, based on the material, and this is definitely one of those materials that kind of pushes the limits uh, of of our you know equipment and what we're able to show. But it's it's uh, it's it's very very beautiful pen in person. So that is about all we have of the Encore, unless you guys have any other questions. So is it convertible to an eyedropper too? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it sure is, and it's available in fine, medium, and broad. I don't know if we mentioned that. But yeah, I saw there's, somebody there's ask a about bit of a chat. delay between um, what we see in the chat and when you guys hear what we're saying. Yeah. It's, it's actually like almost a couple minutes. If you Really? Yeah. I mean, because I'm looking at, at my screen and I'm seeing stuff from a while ago you're talking about. So huh. if we're verbally answering questions, they're not seeing it. Oh, they're not see. hearing it right away. So I'm, I'm trying to take a, answer questions in the chat too. Gotcha. Um, who takes a great photo? Sam Doran, who is present in the chat. Yeah. He's one of our, our employees, that also known as my friend Sam, as Brian used to always call him. <laughs> um, so he's he's our resident photographer now. Yep. So, yeah, they, yeah, they are awesome. These, 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 these pictures are great. Yeah, Sam's been killing it with all our photography lately, <laughs> which allows me to play around with video stuff. <laughs> so um, that's about all I had as far as everything queued up that I wanted to talk uh, about. Okay. Um, let me look at the topic list. Ink drop theme for December. We talked about that's Christmas. Mm -hmm. November contest entries. Okay, there's two more days left for that. Um, okay. So if you want to get your entry in, just email it to me. Um, that's for a November contest. So all you have to do is do some kind of artwork, writing, drawing, uh, ink splatter, whatever, with the five ink drop colors. Um, email yeah. to me. I put them on a gallery. Everybody votes, and the top three winners get gift certificates to our store. There have been some really cool entries this month. Yeah. Like, I've been really just... If you go to our um, Goulet Gallery, which is gallery.gouletpens.com. Um, sorry, just lost my train of thought. Oh, you can see all the entries. There's a, there's a subfolder for wallpaper images where you can download stuff for your laptops and iPhones and iPads and such. And then there's the subcategory for all the ink drop entries. So you can look at past months, so you can look at the current month. So... Uh, yeah, there's like 10 entries so far. They're really good. Yeah. Next month should be fun too, all the Christmas colors. Yeah, this month is going to be tough. I don't know how. Hey, we're not the one, we're not the ones voting. I'm glad so. we don't have to pick because seriously, that would be tough. There are some really just amazing ones. Um, just yeah. very cool stuff. Every, a lot there's of, some a lot really of people, unique stuff this time, which yeah. I'm really excited to see. Yeah, yeah. In the past, we've had ones. I don't want people to be intimidated by the really good artwork. I would love to see people just writing with the inks, you know, doing some neat handwriting or neat, you know, or like putting in a flex pen or, I mean, that'd be really cool. But even if you just have really pretty handwriting, you want to just write out the names of the inks. Like, I would love to see more stuff like that. I don't want people to think you have to do like over the top artwork or like oh I'm not good enough I shouldn't even bother entering I want it I want it all I want everybody to enter <laughs> yeah definitely um there's a couple questions in the chat um and again sorry for the delay uh, we are trying to answer them um any chance we'll carry basil basildon basildon bond? bond oh, ba oh okay yeah, it's I a, yeah UK paper right isn't that I've had we, a couple people ask me about it before have we ever looked into it I haven't contacted anybody yet, but I've heard that they are really not that interested in in just in bringing it into the U.S. So it would really be an uphill battle. Okay. So if we have the time and ability to 
pursue them hard, it would probably still take a while to get it. So we'll it's see what we can do. It's not going to happen anytime soon. I can pretty much tell you that. Any word on Evan at Conrad's? Yeah, they're on the way. They're still on the way. They're always on the way. <laughs> They've been on the way. Um, so the deal is um, there is a limited batch. Um, Nathan is having to QC each of them by hand. They are all handmade. So with them being handmade, with them being an initial batch, he has to inspect every aspect of the pen. Yeah. So needless to say, he's a very, very busy man, and it's just taken yeah. him a while to get through. He's done a couple dozen so far, but um, it's not enough to release to the general public between what we want and what other vendors want. Mm -hmm. um, so until they get the quantities up, they're holding them back. But they are on the way. They're like, they're here. They're just not ready right so they're coming um we'll let you know as soon as we know same with all the other various noodlers pens you might have heard about they're still in well, process yeah and, and i've heard and and um the distributors mentioned the conrad rollerball and brush pens should be a couple weeks away a couple weeks usually gets six <laughs> into a couple months but you know we'll, we'll see so conrad brush and rollerball pens may be coming back um i'll list them on our site as soon as as soon as they do. That would be good to see. In fact, there's, Nathan just did a couple actually, of videos. And actually, I didn't tell you this. There's two more Ahab colors um, that we didn't get from the first awesome. batch. <laughs> Sam, you had to take more pictures. Um, so that would be 25 new colors total instead of 23. <laughs> um, wow. Oh, put the contest in two different categories, art and penmanship. Interesting. Ah, and I can have like multiple prizes in different categories. You vote for different categories. I like it. Well, it's too late to do anything for November, but I'm going to do that with December. I like it because I want to encourage people to just even just write. You know, don't, don't, just do it. Bing, bang, bong. <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> Bing, bang, bong. Just do it. <laughs> um, yes. So, new there's pens are on the way. We're getting more. Yep. Um, we'll also have <laughs> a limited edition. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna have. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I should have brought. It's, I should have brought one of these to I'm, show. I'm gonna ask if I can advertise it this way. It's it's kind of a Franken pen. <laughs> I mean, it is. Nathan decided it would be fun to take. <laughs> Sorry, can you do some straight pictures? You're really not selling this thing well here. Hey, it's gonna be a great pen. I mean, it is a great pen. We have them. Um, the red Mesa tortoise Conrad. So think the red tortoise mm -hmm. with a. <laughs> the, the Roaring Twenties brown body. <laughs> yep. So it's the cap and, the, and, and the, the cap. What is the grip section? I can't remember what the grip section looks like. I can't remember either, but the cap and the, the blind cap are red and the barrel's brown. Yes. I can't remember what the grip <laughs> section is. Oh, man. Well, we're going to have pictures of it. Well, I just, I laughed because I asked them, I said, what do I call it? And they said, call it the Red Mesa Tortoise with Brown Tortoise Barrel Pen. <laughs> 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 limited edition yeah. so we have a, a so couple anyway, of those so we'll it was, be, a, we'll it was an experimental it was an experimental pen that nathan had made in a very limited run and we're and, like mm, this is too similar and to it kind of got mixed in with the regular red mesa and we ended up pretty much getting the stock of them um so now we have them and we're gonna sell them because they're perfectly good gone red pens uh they just look interesting um so if you think they look interesting we will have them available here pretty soon hmm. Um, uh, we did get a question along the lines of the Conrad. Um, where was it? Where did I Oh, dry out so Asking fast. About the Any out. modification yeah. to fix it up? A couple of Ahabs and Conrad, they all dry out really fast. Part of that might be just the fact that it's getting towards winter time and it's getting really dry anyway, but I know that... Um, you know, the Noodler's pens are kind of prone to drying out a little bit, especially because, you know, the nibs stay so wet and they're very wet writing pens. Um, so there can be a lot of evaporation that can happen, especially in the winter. Um, one thing that can help is to cut a small piece of sponge, wet it and keep it inside the cap. Um, but if it's if the piece of sponge is too big and the nib touches it when it's closed, <laughs> it'll, soak it'll soak all the ink out of the pen. So that one is kind of. I mean, that makes this. sense. And I had an acoustic guitar. I used to have a little thing that had like a wet sponge to keep in it. Yeah, it kind of acts like a it, humidifier. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, that kind of that kind of helps. Keeping it sealed in a plastic bag, you know, overnight when you're not using it, if that's you know something that you're willing to tolerate. Uh, otherwise, just you know use it regularly <laughs> that's about all i have there's nothing else magical that really can be yeah, done use it regularly you know try different inks 
Yeah, um, something's maybe Lubricated maybe inks, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, other stuff on the agenda. Yeah, what Platignum. Else we... Platignum. I have Platignum's one. coming. I just got the invoice. It shipped to us uh, yesterday, so we should have it tomorrow or Friday. Um, we have to photograph everything, take dimensions, but it'll mm-hmm. be up on the site maybe by the end of the week, maybe early next week. It really just depends how, how quickly it comes in. Did you say we're going to have pictures up by the end of the week? No. I, Maybe next week? No. It's not going to be until, like, well into next week at the earliest. Okay. Next week. Yeah. We're, we haven't even gotten them yet. They're they're going to be here, like, tomorrow. You think so? Yeah. Oh. I got the shipping. Okay. Well, Sam. There's, all, there's we'll only, see how Sam's Well, there's only, the like, eight pens or ten pens. Only. Yeah. <laughs> only ten pens. <laughs> I mean, total. Like, all colors and options and stuff. Yeah, that's This true. isn't a big line. Yeah, it's um, it's called platinum. It is. It's platinum with the G. Platinum with a G thrown in there. Platinum. Um, so and uh, and I'll, I'll write that out in the chat. It's a it's a, you know, more of a starter pen. It's only available in a medium nib. Um, it does write really well though. The nib is very very smooth. I love how you're totally covering my why. face with your fist. Well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I like, don't know. It's fine. I mean, there we go. How's that? No, because no one can see. It's fine. I just, I was amused by it. <laughs> so whatever. Um, it's a nice writing pen. Um, we actually got these lined up before we knew anything about the Pilot Metropolitan. So we were really excited about this one being an alternative starter pen. That would be really good. Now we have the Metropolitan, which is going to be like half the price of this thing. But well, the, the, still the going to be one, a good pen. The downside to this is it takes proprietary ink cartridges, which they make two colors for. Yes. Boring which blue and boring black. Perform okay, but they're very boring. Yeah. yeah but they take a Monteverdi mini, mini converter. ink converter, which we'll offer for sale with a pen too, which yeah. thankfully we're a Monteverdi dealer, so we can do yes. that. Yes. Um, it, it fits nicely, so we, we tried that out. Granted, it does not have a large ink capacity. I mean, you can refill cartridges to an extent. You can do that. And we will offer the cartridges. <laughs> Normally, we don't carry cartridges. They're but... asking if the platinum are made by Pilugged pi or <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Parker. Uh, goodness. So Platinum is the brand. Um, there are two lines, I guess, models, if you will, that we're getting. One is called the Studio. Not to be yes. confused with the Lamy Studio. Yes. And the other is called the Time, which is the one that Brian has here. Yes. And they actually look really, really similar. They do. The difference is... I think the difference is just color, honestly. The trim color? No. No, the body color. Well, it's like between the, between the Time and the Studio. That doesn't I wonder why they... Because hmm. they sent us a Studio, one of the orange ones. Yeah. And it, Alex it's has like, been using it. It's like it. the same style as this. It's just the trim is different and the color is different, I think. Material, maybe? Like plastic versus... No, they're both metal. Hmm. So there are... The studio is going to come in... I'm looking at my list here. Yellow, turquoise, lime green, orange, mm-hmm. pink, white, red, and blue. And then the time that you have is a khaki green and then a black and gun metal. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten pens. Ten pens. Ten. And they're just medium. But they're very smooth. And they're 30 they bucks. Yeah. So... Which is a very fair price for... So it's not like... Uh, I'm not expecting this to, like, light, like, the whole world on fire. I don't... But like, this isn't going to be as exciting as a Metropolitan, for sure. But it's a nice... But it's still... It's a nice addition to our line. We want to focus on pens that people can afford. And, well, and the, and the thing that you know, I do really like about this is it has a rubber rubberized grip. Yeah. So that is very that, true. It's very, very comfortable to write with that rubber grip. So that I like. And it's, it's nice. very well balanced, too, even when posted. So... Caps well. Yep. Nice click. Yep. Um, so Platinum will be here next week. I'll just say next week. Yep. Blue Ocean will be back tomorrow. Yes. Um, I've seen a lot of other dealers get theirs in. Um, our order, just, you know, with all the Thanksgiving stuff, we ordered a lot of other stuff, and I guess it was pretty big and just got delayed. Yeah. They're like, oh, I don't want to pack that thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're pushing it to the back of the list. And I'm like, guys, where's my order? And they're like, oh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it happened. But actually, no, that's how it works. But <laughs> no, yeah. they, they they take good care of us. But it's like I watched everyone else like across the the coast get them in. I'm like, ours are on the way. I promise. So they're coming tomorrow. Um, so uh, Blue Ocean will be back tomorrow. Yep. We haven't had Blue Ocean in a while, right? Hasn't it been like 
Gosh, I don't remember how long. Six weeks or something like that? Oh, more than that. Really? It's been a while. It's been a long time. But anyway, we've got that in. I've got a video on that, too. Sam will so be excited to get free. to use his home. <laughs> get to use his ocean, uh, his, his little beach scene. Beach scene. Yeah. yeah. Sam had fun photographing that, and he had little <laughs> sand and the seashells. And <laughs> That's good. I'm glad he got to use all that. I he still has it, like, set up, waiting for, like, the next product to do that with. I love well, it. Well, I think he, like, he did it, and then he was like, wait a minute. How am I going to get the seashells out <laughs> of the sand, sand and separate these again? It's like, uh, well, we goodness. don't take any sand-only pictures. It's like, you know. We could. So. No, I tried before, and the problem when you try and take a picture of a pen on sand, the pen like has a static charge on it, oh. and it makes all the sand like attract oh. to the pen. So you end up with like this sandy pen that you're trying to photograph, well, and when you're like trying to brush it off, it just gives it more of a static charge. So it's maybe an depending battle. on the pen, that could be a good look for it. Yeah, but you're not buying a sandy <laughs> pen. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. So it's like, oh blue. Pl- I was going to say platinum. Platinum, thirty-seven seventy-six. The Chartres. Chartres. What he said. Chartres. The, you can call it that. Chartres. Chartres. Chartres blue. Chartres blue. It's the blue. It's the begonia. The blue begonia. <laughs> begonia. <laughs> oh, God. Not a fan of the French words, huh? <laughs> um, that is coming next week. Um, it is on the way to the U.S. right now. Um, our order is in. We should have it next week. So it's basically the begonia. <laughs> you can call it a century because the black century pen is well, the Well, I know, but pen. it's translucent. So it is. It's it coming. Is. And now it's going to be available in an extra fine. Um, the begonia will be coming in. <laughs> so it's, it's funny to hear myself see that now. <laughs> I'm really aware of You're it like now. You're like Joseph when he says, when he like gets on a on a rant saying random funny things because they sound, or they feel funny in his mouth <laughs> to say them. Shark figs, yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so both of those pens will now come in an extra fine. So they're, you know, Japanese nibs, so we're really excited about that. Yeah, I'm, I've been really eager to see extra fines. I think the only pens that we have in extra fine, the Japanese the extra fine, is the Black Century yeah. from Platinum. So it's been we've been been very eager to have more come in. Um, Platinum nibs tend to run very fine anyway, uh, finer certainly than like Lamy and Pelican and other German brands. Um, but you know, to have a Japanese extra fine for those people that like really really small mm-hmm. writing or fine writing and smooth. Yeah, they they are the way to go. Platinum's got some good stuff. So. Have we ever considered selling the mid or upper range Pelicans? Um, we did um, sold briefly. Some we, yeah. we we had the M two hundred line, and we we had a couple of the M six hundreds when they had the white tortoise out. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, the four price increases in the last couple of years have kind of staved off the demand a bit. I have heard a rumor from Pelican that there might be another one coming early next year. Yeah. I haven't confirmed that and I don't and if there is I don't know how much but I have heard there may be another price increase so that is it's really disheartening because I think they are good pens it's just they're pricing themselves I think a bit out of some people's reach mm-hmm. that being said um, we are Pelican reps um, I have you know I just ordered some 800s for someone I have a, an order for a M1000 right now that I'm working on mm-hmm. so we can order anything um, and I can get you a, a pretty good price um, I've we got just, an M800 myself they're just, in my personal collection well between all between the prices all the nib variations and all the colors it's just way too expensive for us to stock them regularly but yeah. we can special order them they usually get to us within a week so um and there are, if you're going to be special ordering anyway, there are a lot of nib options like oblique, oh, yeah, obliques obliques and, and italics and, and stuff like that. So Pelican has got pretty much the most extensive nib offering from any factory pen, mm-hmm. com, you know, like pen manufacturer I've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Sailor has a lot too, but a lot of them are Japan exclusive and stuff. But at least in the U.S., what you can get. That's true. Pelican has, has kind of the best offering there. So for us, where we are right now, it doesn't make sense for us to regularly stock them. But um, yeah. we can get you whatever you want. Just send us an email. We'll get you a price quote. Yeah. Uh, what else is on the list? I think that's about it. Well, we covered all the Twisby stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think we did it. All right. And we have five minutes to spare. Question time. Shoot us all your questions. And again, sorry for the two-minute delay here. Got your M150 for us and using it today. That's great. Awesome. 
Yeah, I hope they don't go cra pra price crazy as Mont Blanc. That'd be a shame. How many new there's highlighter inks are out there? Ten. Uh, I want to say I want to say it's ten. Well, want to want to try to count? <laughs> I mean, there's seven. Oh, you want to like list them all from memory? There's seven of the three ounce size, and then there's the three dragons and year. Year the little pig. Wait, so, what did I say? Seven. That would be eleven. Yeah. Seven plus three plus one. Eleven. Yep, and Firefly comes in two sizes, mm -hmm. but that doesn't count. Right. It's only one ink. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Eleven. Eleven. There you go. Eleven Noodlers have. Which is and, and by far the I'm most extensive. I'm doing it by memory, so I'll have to double check the size. Which is but. by far the most extensive. Oh, I missed a question. Um, paper. What's your best value for a five by eight staple bound? Probably the Rhodia pads. Yeah, five by eight staple bound. We don't really have a lot. Top, of I mean, that's an brands. A five. Claire Fontaine is a little bit more expensive than Rhodia. Um, yeah, but the paper is very nice. Oh, three new Rushizuku inks coming out in December. Oh, I don't yeah. know when in December, but sometime in December. Hopefully by Christmas. Hopefully soon. I don't know. Yeah. One of them is a black. It's called Bamboo Charcoal. But it, um, mm -hmm. from what I've seen from swabs and scans, it looks black. Um, one is a deep sea blue, which is like a blue black. And one is a sky blue, which looks, um, I've seen some people's scans. It looks a lot like, uh, like Gerbon Blue Provence. It's really pretty. Mm. But, you know, maybe a little more saturation to it. Looks like 10. Did I miscount? Wait, okay. Let me, let me think. You can just look it up. Firefly, Hellfire, <laughs> Sunrise, St. Patty's Hour, <laughs> Lightning Blue. Um, we will keep asking for pilot metropolitan and fine trust me they don't even want to hear it from us anymore that's the even before we got the pen we were like is this going to be available in the fine shoot <laughs> yeah how far oh there's another pink one what's the other pink one there's two pink ones hellfire and Georgia. oh atlantic salmon and then you have the three dragons and you're the golden pig wait that's 10 i missed one wait ah <laughs> Georgia something, isn't there? Georgia Peach. Georgia Peach. Eleven. Eleven. Which is another pink. Yeah. All right. Eleven. Yep. Banded Apple. That's another option. Well, you said you wish you were in a different five. section of the site. Um, do I not have highlighter inks as a, uh, as a drop down? I thought you did. Let me see. I'm going on our site now. You keep talking. I'm out of things to talk about. We covered everything. Answer people's questions. I'm trying. But you're in the process of answering them. You want a nice pen, but can only afford one. What's the best choice between the Lamy Red LE, the Mickey Falcon, or an Edison pen? Ah, I mm. do. If you go under, like, Find by Color, I have one for highlighters. So you got Atlantic Salmon, The Three Dragons, Firefly, Georgia Peach, Hellfire, Lightning Blue, St. Patty's Eye, Sunrise, and You're the Golden Pig. Nice. Well, I knew the product codes, too. I was just trying to get yeah. the names. <laughs> How do we feel about the Aztec being declared the worst car ever? What? We say whatever. It's the best car we've ever owned. It makes it a better value. You also interrupted me as I was answering someone's question, by I'm the way. Sorry. You said, why don't you answer some questions? I read the question, <laughs> and then you can proceeded to answer your I'm question. Sorry. That's okay. Um, the best choice between a Lamy Red LE, Namiki Falcon, or an Edison. Oh, that's a good question. I'm sorry I interrupted that. That's a that's a tough one. Those are three very different pens. Mm. The Falcon has the flexibility to it, which of course is what stands out the most about that pen. Um, I like it. It's it's great for drawing and fancy writing. I personally don't prefer the Falcon as much for just my everyday writing. It mm. certainly can be used for everyday writing. It's just not the one that I grab first. The um, metal. Falcon with ex soft extra fine is pretty sweet. Well, yeah. But that's, that's not what they're asking. Right. Um, the Lamy Red Studio LE has that awesome nib on it, and it's a gorgeous pen. You can also change the nibs out if you... You, you can know. change the nibs out. It's swappable with any of the Lamy nibs, except for the Lamy 2000. Um, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at someone's question. I asked about a, a, a USPS Palooza. I just like a sp 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 Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and, then, that. and then an Edison pen, you know, it's American made. It's, um, you know, the materials on the Edisons uh, really stand out versus, you know, conventionally made fountain Shoot. pens. American made, you know, you're supporting a, 
a family guy in the U.S. in Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I would just look at them all and say, which one speaks to you? Yeah, it's going to depend. It's going to depend on what's most important to you. Which one do you keep getting drawn towards? And yeah. If it's all three of them, then just budget them out over time. <laughs> <Rachel. laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot to lay off. No, I, I said over time. It could be like a five-year period. Yeah. I didn't mean like three days. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't Maybe know, gosh, not. I oh, really don't know. I really don't know which one to recommend there. That's I could make a case for any of the three. I really could. Good question. I would lean towards Edison probably. Hmm. Just because you know, it's all made here in the US. You can shoot Brian Gray an email. You can talk to the manufacturer. Directly. That's really cool. Um, you can get custom grinds on it. You know, he does that. Um, can you order the gold nib separate? Are you talking about for the Lamy? Um, not through us, but you can through Lamy USA. I want to say it's about $75. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's expensive. Lamy, the gold nibs are so expensive. There's that no margin there's... for them to sell through retailers, unfortunately. Right. Yeah. So. yeah. So, oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, that's about all I have. Um, there was something else. Was there another question that we missed? I'm trying to remember. Yeah. Dead air. Uh, people are getting ads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why there's so many ads popping up. I mean, usually I it's love how there are ads on. for like our competitors. I well, think that's hilarious. They're like, oh, pen. So therefore, you and should go like buy from these other people. It's like competitors I've never heard of. No, either. I've it's heard like of a couple these of them. Sketchalicious people. But anyway. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Any other questions? It's just after 10, so we can wrap it up. Yeah, I think we should because we got a skippy broadcast anyway. So Yeah, sorry guys. I'm the, really well, sorry. But the recording will be good, right? Recording will be great, yeah. Okay, so if you missed anything, go back and watch the recording tomorrow. Yeah. Um, it'll be even higher quality, um, and you know, you'll know get everything you missed. Yep. I'm really sorry. Again, it's because we have no lights in our living room. And yes. we could not plug into our Ethernet, so we're here in our dining room with Wi-Fi. Basically, I'm just a hot mess right now. And it's not going to get any better tonight. Because I've got to go back and try and figure out what the heck I did wrong to the lights as soon as we're done with this broadcast. So, yeah. Rachel will be sitting in the dark, working I on a computer a until, until well, I get it fixed. Well, yeah, because the circuit that has our internet. Oh, right. dang it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's... I'll just not mess with it tonight then. I was like, I need to get work done. No, that's <laughs> fine. I'll just mess with it later. Use Christmas lights. Well, yeah, we could do that. I could just bring floor lamps and extension cords from the other rooms. And No, it's more that the internet is on, a, on that same circuit. Our modem is on that circuit. So yeah, we're... racial minus, in, minus internet. Very sad. Yeah, especially when the kids are asleep and we can actually get some work done. And I'm a week behind on QuickBooks, which I'm trying to rebuild right now because <laughs> my file got corrupted. That's not good. Well, it's not corrupted. It says it's fine, but it's not because it randomly shuts down every couple of minutes, and that's not good. That's generally not a good thing. <laughs> Anyway. But that is not what everybody needs to hear. <laughs> Those are the kinds of things that we try and shield you from about what we have to deal with. Choking on my uh, you okay car there? right here. You okay there? Um, <coughs> can we order Waterman? Yes. We can order Waterman. Um, we can order any of their pens. Um, we just haven't yet because there hasn't really been interest. Um, but we can. Let us know. Yep. Put in our next order. Yeah. Get your price quote. Yep. Bing, bang, bong. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite ink? Oh, gosh. <laughs> it's like, what time is it? Whatever one I'm using right now. Liberty's Elysium? That would probably have to go down as my all-time favorite for right now. Yeah, it changes. Mine changes every week. That's No, ma no matter what else changes, that one stays in a pen that I'm using. Mm. That one definitely does. Noodler's Black, too, is kind of a staple. 54th is... 54th is... It's it's the blue-black of Newther's Black. It is, but it's not... It's it's still not vibrant enough for me. I like the Liberty's Elysium. I like the punchy blues. Well, I mean, as far as a black, I'm saying if you like Newther's Black oh, yeah, and you yeah, want yeah. some color, oh, 54th yeah, yeah. is... 54th is a pretty incredible ink. I plan to do a review of that one pretty soon. As soon as we get all our, all our life together here. Well, thanks, guys, for sticking it out with us. I'm sorry this... 
this is just no. <laughs> I'm sorry that I screwed up everything in life and made this a difficult you broadcast. Everything in life, just everything for the broadcast. <laughs> no. It's, I think it, the broadcast turned out okay, though. Like, I selected the right microphone this time. And you did, we think, so far. Yeah. Two weeks ago when we had Brian Gray and Wayne Mullins on, I forgot to choose our good microphone when I set up the video. So we were broadcasting with the junky internal microphone the whole time. Didn't even realize it. So I was kicking myself there. Yeah. It's hard to produce your own live broadcast. I know. It really is. Oh, well. At least the kids are sleeping. Woe is me. But anyway, so, um, yeah, that's about it. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's about an hour. we do a little bonus time. Yeah. If anyone maybe. wants it. But anyway, this has been our broadcast. I realized at the beginning I forgot to say the date, and Sam's going to be mad at me, but it's 11 28 2012, November 28th. So at least I got it at the end. So there you go. Um, we're going to go ahead and end the recorded portion of this broadcast. Thanks for sticking with us on a very interesting broadcast this week. Sorry. And we'll plan Thanks. to be back next week, hopefully in a living room with light. Yes, that's plan. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.